Welcome to the Foliage video tutorial on environment art in Core. This tutorial series is divided into three parts, terrain, foliage, and atmosphere. In this video, we'll cover foliage, or plants and trees, including how to paint materials over existing materials, such as adding a dirt path to grass, and how to generate and paint foliage objects onto your terrain. We'll resume with the previous project from the terrain segment of this tutorial series, but these tools can be used to build any natural environment. Now let's add some life to your new world. We'll begin by selecting our terrain in the hierarchy, and then selecting the Paint tab in the Properties window. Now, click the Paint button that says Create New Material. This will change the terrain's material to a rockier terrain material, but keeping some of its original grassy appearance. Let's paint a path along our grassy area that players can follow. Now we're going to choose some new materials to work with. But first, we need to create a palette or group of materials to use on our terrain. In the Palette section, select Edit Materials. Each of the materials corresponds to one of the visible materials that our terrain will utilize. Each has two materials channels, one for flat sections of the material, aka the material base, and another for the steeper vertical sections of the terrain, aka the material side. In the Edit Materials menu, find Material 2 and double-click the checkboard material icon next to Material Base to open the Material Picker window. For this project, select Bricks Cobblestone Floor 1. Now close the Material Editor window and choose the second material in the Paint menu palette, which looks like our brick cobblestones. Scroll down to the General section and increase the target value to 0.4 to blend the brick material with the grass. Now you can click and drag your mouse where you want to create a path with some stones coming out of the grass. Great, now that we have a path, let's move on to painting the bottom of the river to give it some more character. Click the eye icon next to the water cube to temporarily hide it. Select your terrain again in the hierarchy and go to the Paint tab. From there, go to the Edit Materials menu and find Material 3. Set the material base to Rocks Riverbed 1 and set the material side to grass and soil. And then close the Edit Materials window. Select the third material in the Paint menu palette, and once again, click and drag along the riverbed to cover it with the new materials. When you're finished, click the eye icon next to the water cube to reveal it again. Now that we've painted the riverbed, let's paint the river bank. We'll start by using a mask. With your terrain selected in the hierarchy, go to the Paint tab and find Materials 4 in the Edit Materials window. Set the materials base to Rocks Riverbed 1, just like we did in the previous step. Now scroll down to the Mask section in the Material Editor window until you see the Mask options, and enable the Use Mask option by checking the box. Click the Image icon in the Mask property, and select Cells. Click and drag the edges of the riverbank to give an impression that it is soaked along its edges. Now what we need is some foliage to add even more coverage to our world. The foliage we're going to create will not have any collision, meaning that players can pass right through it, but it will make the scene look more organic than just adding objects everywhere. In the Properties window, with the terrain selected, click the tab next to Paint called Foliage. Click the Add Foliage button, and you'll see a new menu called the Static Mesh Picker. Do a search for grass to find Grass Tall. Select it and hit Done. Take a look at your scene. There's tall grass everywhere. Let's change the river to look more like a marsh by filling it with tall grass. In the same Foliage tab, Select the Grass Tall item and change the Material channel to the third material, the one we used to paint the riverbed. Change the distance between instances to 2 meters, and scroll down to the Spawn settings and change the Scale property to have a minimum 3.0x. Now you can return to the Paint menu to repaint any areas that are missing grass with the river bottom material. The foliage will now generate along with the terrain paint. If any foliage is spawning in unexpected places, use the Show Debug Material option in the Paint Terrain Palette menu to check which material is being applied in any area of the terrain. Congratulations, you've added water and foliage to your world. It's starting to look full of life. Continue this series with our next video to add atmosphere and effects to your scene. Visit learn.coregames.com for more Core Academy courses and documentation, and make sure to check out our Twitch streams on Core Live to interact with other creators, engineers, developers, and artists in the community. Be sure to join the Core discussion and drop us a line in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get notified whenever we drop a new video. Thanks for watching and creating in Core.